previous time steps to calculate the third one. What happens when you gather a handful of sharp undergraduates and turn them loose on a problem in theoretical physics? The answer, under the mentorship of mathematics professor Scott Glasgow, is a lot of complex equations and a brand new theory about an age-old problem in energy loss and recovery. In the words of one relatively famous physicist, the idea that other people have used is to sort of take a mirror that's been broken, uh, all these shards of glass on the ground, and from that try to uh, uh, reassemble the mirror and deduce what the image was that was in it. And our, our approach is very different from that. And because of that, it's gotten some acclaim. And, and uh, moreover, we think it's the right answer. Despite the allegory, this project isn't about assembling a physical object, but about creating a complete physical picture one that describes in real time where energy goes, what it does, and whether it's useful or not. And it all adds up to a great undergraduate yeah, so that's, mentoring that's experience. We just sit down and we work at it and we try to and work out through the equations trying to figure out a solution to this problem and it's you know doing something new that that hasn't been done before, finding ways to solve problems that that haven't been solved yet. The projects that I give my students are very central to my work. These are people that have, uh, well, they've been first authors on papers. They've actually done most of the work. And uh, so they're, they're really a key part of my team. We actually get to do the hands-on experience. We're the ones that are making the applications instead of just reading about them in books. You know, so it's just another way that brings what we learn here to life. The contributions that we've made to um, physics in the last year or so have been things that have happened uh, banging back and forth the Id fundamental ideas of what we meant by certain things. And from all of this, eventually we came up with a theory that's been sort of well accepted in the community now.